Everybody in Europe is talking about one thing. Recession. 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 Russia's war in Ukraine and the energy crisis have drastically worsened the economic outlook, raising fears of an imminent recession. When exactly can we say the EU is in a recession? Well, it's not that easy. The traditional definition of a recession is two consecutive quarters of economic contraction. But the economy is much more complex than that. A recession causes persistent and widespread damage. Companies cut down on production and begin to lay off workers. Unemployment rises, personal income drops, and consumer spending plunges. Is this the case in the European Union? Not yet. So far, the picture is a mixed bag. Employment is at an all-time high, with more than 213 million people in work. There are still vacancies available, and salaries have increased. But some signs are concerning. High energy prices are fueling record-breaking inflation. Bankruptcy declarations are on the rise. And consumer confidence is at a historical low. We are concerned particularly about those who have low income and who are more vulnerable to not only the risk of recession, but to the reality of inflation. Meanwhile, the trade deficit between the EU and its commercial partners has rapidly widened. So what happens next? How long will the recession last? With a war raging in Europe, it's impossible to tell.